morning everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on today's video today is going to be a bit of a health fitness um, focused vlog so for any of you guys who are interested in keeping up with my health and fitness side of things then this vlog is definitely for you and if not that's totally okay um, I have a normal vlog coming up very very soon but it is Wednesday morning it is the 19th of September and it's breakfast time for me so I thought I would start off this vlog I've already half made it but um yeah I'm just going to vlog for you guys today and maybe tomorrow depending on how much um, time I get today but pretty much I wanted to share with you guys a bit of like a body fitness update and talk to you a bit more about that side of things I'll let you know what I've been up to and also share with you guys some of the food I've been eating as well. So my breakfast is a smoothie at the moment. I love smoothies and now that it's getting warmer, we can have more smoothies. Also, sorry about this angle and the lighting. You're currently sitting in my cupboard, so yeah, excuse that. But I am still recovering from being sick, so I'm trying to have a lot of nutrients in my food, especially breakfast, which is why I'm having a green smoothie this morning. So in here so far, all I've got is water, ice, banana, and frozen passion fruit. And next is time for my supplements, which is super important. And I do this every single time I am getting run down or getting sick. Um, and the first one is a greens powder. This one is the nature's way one. Um, and it's in the tropical flavor. So I just put in two heaped teaspoons spirulina is essential this is what it looks like it looks so gross it smells gross too not gonna lie but i put in a bit of that because it's got so much nutrients in it and my little secret weapon is camo powder and this is amazing for getting in some vitamin c so i put like a fair amount in i used to only be able to put a little tiny bit in because it is so strong but I feel like in this smoothie, everything else just overpowers it anyway. And then I just chuck on the lid and blast that in my Nutribullet. <laughs> so I have that. And then I also take my vitamins, which I have a video up on my channel showing all my vitamins. I've also been having a little bit of a bigger breakfast. And that is something that is very different for me. If you guys have been watching me for a little bit, you'll know. I used to struggle eating breakfast so, so much. Whereas now I get an appetite at around eight o'clock, sometimes 7.30, which is incredibly good for me because I used to have that, then I lost it and now it's back. So I'm loving that. But I've also been having two things for breakfast. I used to just have a smoothie and lately I have been upping my food intake which has led to some crazy results and that's what i'm going to talk to you guys about later coconut yogurt my new obsession with granola i love coconut yogurt so much this is my favorite one it's the coco bella one in vanilla i also have been using this granola Ooh, bad lighting this is the be natural one and it's got a lot less sugar than a lot of other granolas so this is my breakfast today just about like three tablespoons of coconut yogurt with some granola this green smoothie looks gross tastes amazing so breakfast is finished and i am going to take a little bit of time to update you guys on sort of like my health and fitness side of things um and share just a few things that have been on my mind that i wanted to share with you all so firstly i wanted to talk about sort of my progress and where i'm at at the moment and I think this is something that sort of been a long time in the making and something that I am quite proud of, but I want to stress that numbers aren't everything. And in my vlogs, you'll know that I explain how much better I'm feeling. I feel so good, apart from being a little bit sick right now. This is the first time I've gotten sick this year, so I'm not even mad about it. But I've been training really hard um, and I've been putting in the work. Oh my gosh, you can hear the washing machine. <coughs> So I've changed up my training quite a bit and my eating has also changed. I am now more of a vegan lifestyle rather than vegetarian. So I've gone a bit more extreme in the diet sense of things, but I've never felt so good. And that is the main thing for me. I wasn't feeling good before I started doing all this and I wasn't really enjoying exercising. And now it's one of my biggest hobbies. I have my measurements taken this morning and that's what I wanted to share with you guys. 
um, because I have noticed that I have slimmed down quite a bit and it's been noticeable to me um, but particularly when I'm wearing clothes. Now that it's getting warmer, I'm getting into like my summer clothes, like my shorts and things like that, bikinis, whatnot. I'm noticing that a lot of them don't fit me like they used to. A lot of them are baggier. I'm having to go buy newer clothes and buy things that fit me properly. So I used to be a 12 in my bottom region, like shorts and skirts and things like that. Now I'm at a 10. And here are my measurements because I wanna share with you guys sort of how the improvements have gone and share a little bit about how I've gotten those improvements. But again, numbers aren't everything. This is something that I just notice and I like to keep track of, um, but I, ha I don't weigh myself. I don't even remember the last time I weighed myself because it's not really about that to me. It's just, this is something a little bit more noticeable that I was cautious of. Um, and just was interested to see sort of what was happening with my body. My bust was 95 centimeters and today my bust is 89 centimeters. So that's six centimeters different. My waist was 78 centimeters and today it is 72. So again, that's six centimeters. <laughs> and my hips were 107 centimeters and now they are 101. I just realized they're all six centimeters, which is quite a lot, like six centimeters is a fair amount. And I just thought that that was quite interesting to look at considering how I've changed my workouts and things like that. I go to the gym five times a week. Um, I try to do as much weights training as possible because that's my favorite and I find it just more effective and helps me get to my goals. I do about four weight sessions a week and two hit cardio sessions and that's sort of where I'm at. I've incorporated a bit of yoga as well but I do think a lot of it comes from my diet because one thing that's really really interesting is that I actually don't do nearly as much cardio as I used to. I used to pretty much only do cardio I would do it like five times a week and thought that was how you got results that's how you got to where you wanted to be whereas when I stopped that and I started doing um you know more weights training and hip sort of workouts that's when I noticed my results I'm a lot stronger than I have been and that makes me so excited because that's sort of why I started weights training was to get stronger I had like no muscles before I started so that was something that I wanted to build up on but my diet is definitely something that has changed quite a lot as well. I'm eating a lot more, training smarter, not harder and that's how I'm seeing results and I think it's important to know that there are different things that work for different people. What works for someone on YouTube might not work for you and that's totally fine. I watch a ton of of fitness youtubers and i've tried what they do i've tried their lifestyle i've tried you know their workouts and whatnot and i didn't notice anything i didn't notice a difference and that's totally fine like cool that it works for them that's awesome and i love seeing people like achieving their goals and whatnot and getting healthier but it can be a bit disheartening when you try those things and they're not working for you fitness and health is a journey and it's something that i don't think you can just sort of come up with and be like yep this is it and there we go we're done and if it does work like that for you that's amazing but just know that everyone's bodies are different so don't compare yourself to others and don't stress out when you try something and it doesn't really work out the way that you had planned but yeah I'm eating a lot more than I have been which is quite a big deal to me because I didn't used to eat that much when I was in grade 12 I used to eat not enough and then last year I probably just wasn't eating the right food and I didn't have a healthy relationship with food. Now I enjoy each meal. I'm eating yummy, yummy food and I have all of my meals. I don't skip a meal and I honestly get sad when I miss a meal. Like I love food, but that's just sort of the update on where we are at the moment. I've had quite a few messages about, um, you know, how I'm looking in my Instagram pictures or um, things that I'm posting about on there, like my workouts or training or whatnot. 
And so I know that some of you guys are really interested in that side of things, which is why I'm making today's video, because I wanted to share that with you guys and let you know sort of what's been going on. Um, and yeah, just sort of regroup, touch base with you guys so that you can see what I'm doing in other videos and whatnot. But if you guys have any questions about like health and fitness stuff, always feel free to just contact me because I love sharing what I have learned and what I've experienced with you guys. Um, and that's obviously why I have a YouTube channel as well. I love sharing my experience with you all. So yeah, that's where we're at. I'm feeling good. I am the happiest I've been. I'm healthiest that I've been and I'm just feeling good. And I hope you guys are feeling good too, because if you're not, make the change because it'll be the best decision you ever make. Anyway, I am going to do some housework because I'm a little bit sick and run down today. So yeah, we're gonna get some housework done and get some things sorted. Um, I have a few videos to edit, which I'll do today as well. And yeah, I think I'm gonna go and lie in the sun and go in the pool a little bit later, which is so, so nice. So I'll talk to you guys a little bit later on after I hustle because I don't want this video to be too long. I just wanted it to be informative and kind of chatty. <laughs> I just got this package in the mail from Frank Body and I thought I'd show you guys what they sent out to me. I'm so excited to try these things. I'll keep you guys updated on how they go, but we have the creamy face cleanser, which I'm excited to try. These are all like natural vegan products, so I'm so keen for that. Then we've got their magic shimmer oil, which looks beautiful. We also have a glow mask. Um, I'm actually out of masks at the moment. And then, how cool is this packaging, by the way? I love that. Um, this is the shimmer scrub. And I'm out of scrubs, too. So this is perfect timing. I will let you guys know how all these products go. I'm super keen to try them out, though. Can we just take a moment to appreciate what's on my head right now? Like bye but this is me all nice and tanned um it's still developing but i'm so lazy these days why am i putting myself on the internet like this like i look disgusting but this is my bathroom right now disgusting so i need to tidy that as well tonight um but i have a few more things left to do before uni tomorrow because yes i have uni all day tomorrow lots of work to get done because um, mid-semester breaks next week and I want to have a bit of a rest. Oh, this is honestly my favorite part of the day. It is time for me to go to bed now. I have uni tomorrow um, from 9 till 1 but I have to wake up at 6 o'clock so I'm going to bed now and I'm gonna get a good night's sleep hopefully um, and shake off whatever this sickness is that's still left in my system. I'm really hoping I wake up feeling a lot better in the morning because we have a very busy day tomorrow. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it even though it was quite chilled and relaxed and just sort of me sharing with you guys a few things that I've really been wanting to update you guys on. The next vlog is going to be super exciting. It will be my beer inside a vlog and I'm so excited for that. That is Friday. It is Wednesday today and I'm just so freaking keen it's gonna be good so thank you for watching this video give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy i hope you guys are all doing well and i can't wait to talk to you in my next video bye